Hey, what's up, fellow Minecraftians? Thank you for tuning in to the second episode of the show that really doesn't have a name, but where I go around and feature the various projects that have been created by members of my Minecraft server. So this is going to be, like I said, the first part in a two-part or maybe three-part feature, depending on how much stuff I actually find when I'm wandering around. See, there's so much stuff going on here, I don't even know what all is available. But we're going to attempt to cover everything. Now, you see we are in the castle. This is the public castle. You guys are already familiar with it. Not a lot has changed. We did include a nether portal here. Nether portal, uh, or the nether, was included oh. in patch 1.6. We can actually just take a trip through that. Whoa! Okay, while that's loading, I know somebody's going to ask. And I was going to tell you right now. The texture pack is the LB Photorealism texture pack. If you can't find it, go Google it. Google is your friend. Very easy to find. So you can see we do have access to the nether. It looks like somebody has already dumped a large chunk of water there. Don't really know what's up with that. Off in the distance, there's a giant tower, which I went and looked at it earlier. It's just a tower. It's pretty cool so far, but you know, you can only you can only have so much awesomeness packed into one tower. It looks like it's actually a work in progress. So let's head back through the nether portal. And you'll notice, while we're recording this video, we're not going to see any mobs. For this video, I've decided to go ahead and disable the mobs, so that way when we're running around, we don't have to spend 20 minutes being chased after. But, whoa, that doesn't look healthy. Okay, now we're back in the, uh, back in the outer world. Now, you see, I did actually knock out the back wall of my castle. I'm trying to expand that back when I put a cathedral, maybe one or two other things in there. But let's not talk about that too much. Let's actually head out to what used to be the Nyan Cat Pasture. Now you can see it's the Nyan Cat Pasture with a neighborhood that has kind of grown around Ooh. it. And uh, <laughs> the fences, I, I kind of went a little overboard, and I realized that it's still very easy to get over them, but... I was tired of creeper people walking over them and creepers getting in here. So I just put the fences down as kind of a vent for my own frustration. I'll probably take them down here at some point. But uh, yeah, most of you guys who saw the first video know that this used to be a giant open area. And with the first two waves of invitations that have gone out, it has kind of become a nice little neighborhood. There was a sign up here that said this was Zergling Boulevard. I guess, uh, I guess somebody took it out. I had to ban my first griefer. Very, very upset about that. The guy was running around breaking stuff up, and I watched him do it, confronted him about it, checked the server logs. Sure enough, he was the guy, so gave him the boot. Very sad that I had to do that, but oh well. Now, Darkfire's home looks like it is a nice little igloo here, and off limits. Wow, okay, yeah, it's definitely off limits uh, as per his instructions. We'll shut those doors and be on our merry way. Uh, recently, we did also have Husky StarCraft make a guest uh, appearance on the server. And it actually might be something that we do again. Mm, never know. So you can see actually somebody put uh, for the next time, Welcome Husky. Definitely a Husky StarCraft fan. I think it's a lot of Husky StarCraft fans that... Uh, of course, watch our series. So I'm actually going to cheat a little bit with those trapdoors and come over and just do a quick run-through of his house. Oh, I'm in here. I'm sneaking around. Spud Penguin, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? How do you even get down there? guess we'll find out. I don't even know if he's uh, AFK or not. I'm running around. I'm running around. What are you going to do? Uh, do, 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 do? He likes his torches. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff here. Looks like he's doing some kind of carving out. I don't know what's up with that, but we will continue on our merry way. See what else we can find in the land of Welcome Husky. Yeah, for those of you who haven't actually seen it yet, the Husky video is pretty cool. I, uh... I guess it was too early. Yeah, yeah, uh, Spud, don't worry. We will actually probably come back here and revisit this in a while. Once, uh, ooh, is there a trap? Nice! Very nice. Wow, that is definitely not for, not safe for human consumption there. So let's jump down and go check out the next house, which I don't even know if it has a door or not. Does it have a door? No, it does not. Some kind of super shady growing operation in there. Not sure if we should actually be recording that. Hmm. 
Okay, that looks like he's making a maze down there. All right, yeah, we'll definitely check that out later. Heading onward down the road of the uh, newly established Nyan neighborhood. We have Drawbridge, created by Mars Miner. All right, we'll check this out. All of his structures actually had this kind of neat little hover thing. I mean, it, it's very clearly, in some of his other structures, an attempt to kind of show like a, you're being sucked up by an alien ship in the classic style. But yeah, it looks like this is just your standard drawbridge. Again, trapdoors, something that were introduced in Minecraft 1.6, which fortunately is a lot more stable than it was last week. And we got another big old cobblestone structure here. It looks like uh, that Welcome Husky building also has a giant forest that's floating up there. That's pretty darn cool, if I do say so myself. Nice little standalone pool happened in here. I think that was made by Nautic, as well as this little water slide. This is a church that I believe had a sign posted on it. I'll check that out later. This was created by, I believe, Scent Dose pretty neat stuff here. I think you can pop it out, get a record. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Either way, we got some fatty beats going on in here. Yeah, what up? And stuff and things. Now, I thought the search was actually pretty cool looking, so we will actually shut the doors. Don't want to let the draft in. And we will actually head onwards. Looks like there's another structure here. Don't know what point or what the objective of this one is it looks like a, a giant texture sandwich like a, a bl lapis lazuli tomato wool sandwich of every other i don't even want to know but it's uh interesting it's definitely interesting i will certainly give it that now it looks like a person that does indeed enjoy their view. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is a nice view, actually. So we can see over there, there's the forest. Little uh, raised-up forest area. Whole bunch of different structures. Kind of littered all around. They kind of go off in uh, different directions. And there's actually neighborhoods that we will go cover. And speaking of neighborhoods, let's actually head back down and go towards the first neighborhood. I'm going to stop the video and reappear over on the other side. Because it's quite a walk. While we're on the way, let's check out I Bob the Builder's house. Looks like he has definitely made good use of that glowstone available in the nether. Ah! Come on, let me in. That's that's a very evil door. I think I just broke my nose there. Oh, puppies! Puppies! So cute. Okay, gotta stop that. Gotta stop that. Gotta be professional and all that stuff, etc. That poor dog. This is like the redheaded stepdog. Poor guy. I feel like we should open the door and let him out. And heading onward, we have more glowstone. Jeez, you certainly uh, do not need a torch in here. I say that as we find a hallway with like 50 torches. Let's head up and see more glowstone. Nice little view. More glowstone. Yeah, that is a neat little view. You can see the church off in the distance. Uh, I don't know whose castle. Well, that's the Bims. That's his. Uh, that's his castle slash compound. Castle pound. Bunk. Uh, I don't know whose this castle is. Probably it doesn't help that we're actually walking into it from the top. Oh, security risk. Wow, just just wow. This is how you get things stolen, folks. Whose is this? Spud Penguin's hideout. Okay, Spud Penguin, that's his little castle there. Not little, but uh, nice, uh, nice establishment. Onward to the neighborhood. All right, guys, we are now approaching the neighborhood down here, which is actually not that far away from the castle. Uh, the castle, there's that compound I was talking about, the BIM, so the castle is just on the other side of that. And, of course, there's the airship blimp doohickey. So heading down, we have Welcome to the Village of Martin. This is, of course, referring to Martin 500 Martin, the kind of manager of said village. Current population 6, nice little street light. This is the information center, apparently, which is locked to the public. Well, that's, uh, that's not a good thing. Public, of course, doesn't know about any of the cool stuff in here, like the nice little desk, the tables, the waiting area. 
pretty impressive stuff, probably just a work in progress. Supplies, that nice little spot there. Here's the town fountain. And Anubis, make Martin's day better, smile. Uh, a little backstory on that. So Martin, being the town manager and all, he uh, he kind of goes through and builds, he puts the lots together, and uh, like right here, a lot for sale, and you know, people come and quote-unquote buy them, but they don't really buy them, just kind of distributed and uh, whatnot. So then Anubis comes over, he, he doesn't know any of this is going on, so the whole thing is, to me is just kind of kind of funny. He comes over and builds this massive obsidian tower. I don't know where he got the obsidian from. I honestly have no clue whatsoever how he got all this obsidian. But to me, I don't know. This is just really, really humorous. I don't even know why. I'm probably a terrible person for for thinking that. But I mean, he said it's it's a complete like it's something that he built that he's he's proud of, so alright. That's what I am all about. I guess, creativity? I don't know, I just thought it was really funny. So anyways, yeah, he just kind of builds, comes over and builds this, like, massive obsidian tower in the in, right on the edge of the neighborhood. And, yeah, so heading back towards the uh, central portion, uh, some of these houses have signs indicating who owns them, some of them do not. Looks like that leads down to a dig site. Don't know whose house this is. Spud Penguin has left the chicken! Poor little guy. I assume that's a chicken. I still think it looks like a duck. Uh, I think this is the first structure from Dirt Rag. Yeah, this is one that he started building, I think, a day or two ago. So we'll actually just head on down. This is a private thing. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, looks like a hotel of sorts, so let's go check that out. Like I said, this is a work in progress, so keep that in mind when we were actually viewing... Ooh, coal. Nice. More coal. Wow, getting crazy with the coal here. Caution, construction. Whoa. Pretty dangerous stuff. Continuing downward. Welcome to Volcano... Ho Whoa. Well, yeah, talk about safety hazards. Check that out right there. Pretty neat stuff in the little, uh, this little waiting area. Looks like he's got some rooms already thrown together. Probably in the process of decorating, yep, sure enough. Like I said, I, I didn't really give him any warning that I'd be doing this, so I'm just kind of barging in and being like, oh, sup, I see you're building stuff, let me get my nose all up-ons. That's right, I just definitely just said all up-ons. Lover's Lava Walk, beware. Well, I guess this is where you go if you don't quite so much love the person you're walking around with. Oops, push. Yeah, let's see. Out of order, starting to convenience. Oh, that looks like the that looks like the storage unit we have for Terry. Oh, Terry, we love you. Storage room. Do not enter. Plenty of stuff there, I'm sure. Plenty of useful stuff for the lava hotel. More rooms. All right, so that is that. Let's actually head back up and explore the next structure. All right, we are now out of the hotel. Let's check out, what else do we have here? There's that lot for sale. Giant friggin' tower. This is something that one of the admins have made. I don't know why, I guess, other than just to have a giant friggin' tower. That's pretty self-explanatory. No need to no need to go up there and check that out. What we will do is continue on or poke our nose in here. Nice little house. You could see he's got a little uh, little fireplace cooking area. A couple of refrigerators. Nice little place to sit. Plenty of bookshelves. Oh my god! Pig seizure! That guy, oh wow, that's just, that's scary. Looks like something out of Hellraiser. So this is Martin's house. This is the manager of the properties located in the immediate vicinity. You can see his house actually is something that I showcased in a previous video, but it was not nearly in the state of completion that it is now. Of course, it has suffered a couple fire incidents over the past uh, over the past couple weeks, but I think we've got everything sorted out now. Looking around, you can see a nice little uh, chandelier-ish type structure. Paintings, of course, improved by the photorealism mod. Little spots to sit. And not too much in here just yet. 
but we'll just continue onward down towards the dock area. Actually, you guys can just see it from here. You can see a couple a couple ships have been uh, constructed in the dock. Sails are folded up. One or two other spots that doesn't don't quite have a ship, but probably will soon. Actually, the Bims and I have been meaning to make one. And it looks like there's a giant wall out there being built. Don't know what's up with that. Eh, it's all right. We'll just continue onward. Actually, one thing I want to show you is down here. Ooh, is right here. Yeah, I turned on a little health regen thing for the duration of the video as well. Now this is accessible from the front of Martin's house. This is a train depot, obviously. What you can see does lead to different points around uh, in the areas outlying around the neighborhood. So pretty cool. This one, of course, I think is the closest to Martin's Harbor. Uh, train to Anars's Castle. Let's see, we've got uh, Ice Cream Man. I think we already went to his stuff, or we will. If not, we'll do the next video. Uh, Nerd's Lair, actually, we'll check that out in just a second. Uh, Gustav, he actually has a big old underground thing. It's pretty cool, we'll check that out. But for now, uh, let's actually, let's go to Nerd's. So, oh my god, I'm cheating while I'm recording a video. Not legit, I should just quit right now. So let's go. We will actually watch the terrain. I want to see how far out this actually is. I don't remember. I had him teleport me out there to create a uh, create a portal, but I haven't actually rode the train or mine tracks yet. Looks like it definitely goes out of way. Wow. What a track indeed. I do like how a lot of it was burrowed. Whoa, that's pretty cool. A lot of it was burrowed there. And what in the world is that? I honestly have no idea what that is. It looks really cool, though. Hopefully some kind of Sky City or something like that. Probably see that being constructed here. Like I said, I'm going to do another video, probably about a week or so, showcasing the progress of a lot of these new uh, a lot of these new projects. The purpose of this was just to kind of give an overview of some of the newer stuff that's popped up uh, in close proximity to the castle, the neighborhood that uh, that Martin has created. And then a lot of the people have established themselves in. Of course, the lulls, the Anubis Tower. And kind of uh, peek around, see what other kind of, well, anything, anything we can find. Uh, in this case, we're going to be looking at whatever it is that Nerd in Denial has built out here. I know he was working on some kind of big, uh, big architectural project. Kind of looking forward to that, actually, as I think. I think we're going to be there soon. I hope so. Yeah, there we go. Man, what a trip. Let's actually turn the lights back on. Leave that card here. And whoa. Look at that, man. You want to talk about a project? It's even got the Stargate leading down to it. Huh. He told me he was working on a project that was kind of a cross between the Acropolis and Petra. And that is pretty freaking cool. I cannot wait to actually see what is going to be uh, what is going to be here when it's completed. That that Stargate little looking thing, of course, leads to the portal room. But let's see here. Oh my God, this place rocks. Yes, it de it does indeed. Let's check out what's inside of it, man. I am genuinely curious. Oh, somebody forgot to email me for their name. Yeah, I have a whitelist turned on now to stop the griefing. And, well, we just saw that in action. So now I'll wait for whoever that is and uh, have a chat with them next time, or if they email me. But looking around, yeah, this is actually pretty neat. I'm wondering if there's a way to go up. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like this will be it. Oh, I fail. Come on, grab the ladder. There we go. And... Nope, there we go. Now it's working. Excellent. I thought it said that it was... That he got kicked. I thought he got kicked. No. Okay. I guess that's somebody new that I did whitelist. So that's fine. If you can't tell, I'm actually really tired. I've been working all day. And... Oh, come on. Really? How am I, how am I supposed to make this jump? Alright. Let's... Let's try this. We got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, we didn't even need that. Okay. That's cool. 
So now we're here at the top of the tower, slash entrance, slash whatever you want to call it. You can see there's another rail system going way back there. I think that's actually uh, something that Foil Sim has been working on. Another railway depot out near the uh, out near the Alamo, slash uh, his ripoff of Iron Forge called Fire Dorge, which uh, is uh, interesting in and of itself. So now we can see just how big this actually is. The guy has put a lot of effort into it. Nerd in Denial is uh, is the guy that's done it. So we'll head on back down. Uh, let's see wherever. So we did kill, we did break that block. Okay, so yeah, we're good. We're good to leave this place. I don't like to leave things littered around, so we'll actually collect this block right here. And can we get out from here? Yes, we can. Excellent. Chicken! Cool. Got our weapon of choice. Ooh, that's a very, very high-def feather. Let's see, does this portal still work? Be nice if it does. The mod's kind of messed up ever since, uh... Ever since 1.6, so oh well, I have to fix that later. So let's head on back and check out the next place. All right, guys. So we are now here at the Alamo, which, if you're not familiar with already, you should definitely go and watch my first Minecraft video. That will give you the uh, the primer on what's going on with that. So both these structures are actually owned and created by Foil Sim. I say both. I mean the Alamo and Fire and Dorge, as I mentioned earlier, the legally distinct version of Iron Forge. You can see it actually uh, heads in here and. Mine carts. So we'll check out the mine carts. Oh, nope, put it in there. Okay, there we go. Now we start our descent to the darkness. Looks like it's a little bit illuminated there. That's good. Heading down, it looks like, all right, well, that was, that was quick. All right, cool. I like quick. Looking over here, we can see uh, pretty much what you would expect. Whoa, what's going on here? It's all. Who decorated this? This is a crazy color party in here. I like the lava. That's a nice touch. Oh, my. Looks like a mistake was made there. Foil. God, you tear... <sighs> God, you knew I make these videos. No, it's okay. Uh, looking around here, I think this leads... Uh, where does this lead? Oh, a little library. Cool. Again, more pictures. Napoleon. And Jesus Christ. Don't know who that is some random person. And I think this actually leads up to a tower, maybe. wonder how long this actually goes for. See, this is why they shouldn't have broken a water elevators. You could just put one in here and go zoom right up to the top. Be there like two seconds. Yeah, but no, no. Instead, we got to stick with these stairs. It's all right, though. It's all right. Oh, hello. Excellent. So yes, here we are. This is the, uh, this is, I guess, one of the exit points. You can actually see there's that little part of the rail depot I was talking about that Foil's made. I think it was Foil and Martin. I don't exactly know who. But you can see, uh, there is our town off in the distance. Oh, speaking of our town, I've got something really freaking awesome to show you. Let's go check it out. Okay, so it's likely most of you remember... We just came from up there, by the way. It's likely most of you remember the little town that we were in the process of creating. Well, since that video, it has definitely expanded into, well, a lot more stuff. We've got a little rail depot leads uh, underground there. There's, of course, the fountain that uh, was put there by yours truly, Foil's Hunting Lodge, and, of course, the obligatory pigs. Now, let's see here. We do go up, and let's check out the castle. Although, I don't know really what that is. Let's go pop in here real quick. I'm a little curious. Um, who built this stone building? Your neighbor. Yes, that's kind of what I'm wondering. Who built that? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this is a castle that was built, I forgot who by, but it's pretty expansive. You can see it's a good, uh, good size there. And this is actually what I wanted to show you. Somebody has made... Get rid of that. 
Somebody has made a very large representation of Eddie the Zergling. This is super freaking awesome. I'll actually just get in the clearing here so you see, could check this out. Look at that, man. How awesome is that? Hanging out there like the baller that he is. And it's even got the story. Eddie the Zergling was a normal Zergling living in the swarm. One day he felt the need to leave the hive. At last, freedom would be his. He ran with super speed using his wings of power. Freedom was the greatest feeling ever. Eddie loved it. Then Eddie fell in a baneling. The end. Optional mourning for Eddie. Yes, indeed, folks. This is a fantastic representation of Eddie. I do find it quite hilariously awesome. And, yeah, this is... I think, uh, whew, yawning, sorry. Like I said before, I'm super tired right now. Made by a Cow of Doom and Mitt Rami. So congratulations to them for getting the Eddie Award for the nice representation of him on the server. So that's actually going to conclude the first part in the video. I think I'm going to go to bed, maybe take a nap or something. I don't know, I'm super tired. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, this is not going to be the whole thing. There are plenty of other homes that are going to be showcased here in probably the next couple of days. I just wanted to get uh, some content up for you guys to watch. You can check it out. Uh, check out the other videos here probably in, a, I'd say, two days or so. I don't know, the weekend's coming up. Maybe I, can, maybe I can get it out before that. But until then, we'll just actually, let's go check out the castle real quick down to the Eddie rail line. Walking into the castle, we've got, let's see... Doo, 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 doo. Interesting stairway there. Alright, what's, uh, what's going on up here, guys? Sup, how's it going? As we just head on up, climbing backwards. The character's talented like that. Oh, that's a cloud. Wow, this is really high up there. But... Kind of cool at the same time. Dude used a lot of uh, a lot of colors in this one. So you can see it's way above the clouds. And seriously, what is that? I, I don't even know what that is. I don't know. All right, that's going to be it. I uh, will see you guys later.